So you're going to draw yourself as a Lego person. And the hair and the clothing are the most important things to make it look like you. So this one is me. And because I do have this beauty mark that not a lot of people have, it makes it look a little bit more like me. And the watch that I wear, I did not finish. But I also have a shirt that goes like that. This is... Um, a friend and she likes to wear a hoodie and the shirt uh, the sorry the hair comes out from under the hoodie so how do we draw these Legos well you can just start with a square but it's curved the corners are curved two lines for the neck not all the way out but not too skinny horizontal lines coming out a little farther than the head then from those lines vertical lines but really they're not vertical they come wider at the bottom so they're slightly slanted out a line across another line across so this is the top part of the body and from here down will be the bottom the legs if you just make it a big rectangle it might be easier because then all you have to do is draw two lines in the middle to separate the legs because they move so they're separated then from the shoulders just draw a curved line down and another line that's how the arm is you can make it in a different position but an easy way is just draw a curved line down or like an oval and it ends near the waist and that's where the horizontal lines are if you're familiar with these Lego people their hands are like the letter C because they snap onto things, okay? Letter C, another letter C. And basically, the shoes, when you're looking straight ahead, you can't really see them. They just look like rectangles, but you can try to make it look like sneakers or other kinds of shoes. And the basic Lego face is circle eyes and a simple mouth or you can make the kind of eyes that have a shine in them, so you would leave some part not colored in when you do it. You can also make different kinds of lips. There is a sheet that shows you all different kinds of faces. But the hair is important because it doesn't just come from here. You have to go up. By the way, you should start a little down. I hope you did that. And then a curved line, no matter what kind of hair you have. Mm -hmm. And also, under here, the hair goes to where your eyebrows are, just about. So if your hair is parted on the side, you would just make a line coming from the side and a line coming back. And if it's long hair, just go out and down to the shoulders. Then erase what you do not want to see and add clothing. Okay, a um, couple of lines for the hair. If you have short hair, it's the same rounded top and it still goes to your eyebrows, but maybe it only ends here. It still goes down the side because we have sideburns, right? Okay, let's just do our best. And let's get started. 